My daughter Sydney suffered three strokes between four and six months old. Sydney was also five and a half weeks premature, but always a very good sleeper. Except for one night when she was up crying the entire evening. Um, there was no reason we kept taking her out, putting back, nothing seemed, she wasn't hungry. She was tired, but she was just a mess. The next day we took her right to the pediatrician who said she was slightly stuffy, didn't think that was the cause of her distress, but to bring her back if we needed to. But then one night, my husband looked at her in the bassinet and periodically her eyes would roll up to the back of her head and then her head would tilt back. And he recorded it on his phone. So when we went back to the pediatrician's office that Friday, he, got, he showed him. The pediatrician immediately said, something neurological is going on. Take her to the emergency room. And we did. She had a CAT scan. And in, they didn't even need to do an MRI. They could tell right from that that she had had a stroke. Um, she was in the hospital with, doing testings. They couldn't find a reason why, but they had put her on seizure medication because from the strokes she was having seizures. Her blood pressure was also they never got a good reading of it, so they thought. It was always very high, and they just never thought they can get an accurate reading, so they just they didn't do anything about it. Now that following Friday, uh, my husband came home from work and noticed her hand was twitching. We just thought that she needed the seizure medication balanced out. We took her right to the emergency room, and I actually saw her having a seizure, which I'll never forget unfortunately seeing, um, they calmed her down and nothing happens on the weekends in hospitals, I've learned. So this was Friday. Sunday, the doctors came in and they did an MRI. And they came back and told me that she had had a second stroke, now on the left side, and that we needed to be transferred. So after this second stroke, she was transferred to um, Cornell and she was there for three and a half weeks doing all sorts of tests. Um, she even had a muscle biopsy, it came out negative. She had every genetic test done known, couldn't find anything. All her chromosomes were right, everything was where it should be. Um, she was put on blood thinners, even though it wasn't a clot, they didn't find a clot anywhere. They kind of just didn't know what else to do, they felt they should do something. So she was also put on three blood pressure medications. After the three and a half weeks in Cornell, going back and forth, switching off with my husband, every other night uh, we would stay, one of us would stay in Cornell with Sydney, while the other one was home with my son. And I'll never forget, everywhere I was, I wanted to be somewhere else. I wanted to be with my other child. If I was in the hospital with Sydney, I wished I was home with Ryan. If I was home with Ryan, I couldn't wait to get back to Sydney. Two months later, while she was on the floor playing, her, she only looked to the left. She would, um, she, if you put her head forward, she would just go left. She never turned right. If you turned her right, she would look left. Then they said, let's do an MRI just to make sure. And they did. And they found out she had had a third stroke. This time it was at the back right side, of, um, back left side of her brain, um, which affected the vision to the right. So she was only looking left because she probably couldn't see right. Uh, she was in the hospital for five days just to balance everything out, the seizure medication and blood pressure medication and all everything. After five days, um, she was off the Lovenox, she was just on baby aspirin. I think she was only down to one blood pressure medication and the seizure medication. But I remember the doctor saying that she, he, he just kind of pretty much wrote her off. They wanted to do 
a brain biopsy on her for uh, research for other children because they just expe expected her to stroke out. Um, but I have happy to say that this past April was she's Sydney's at five years stroke free.